Hi everyone, just a brief look at this uh, Tech 453 where I've got to. Um, I've taken all the knobs off and cleaned those. I managed to get into the back casing and have a look at that AC fan which was quite interesting. Um, the fan itself, this is uh, um, electrolytic, but it looks very similar to this. Um, there's three wires coming out of one end and the uh, impeller shaft um, comes out of this end obviously. Um, and that's retained by a sir clip um, and to really work on it you need to remove the sir clip and to do that in uh, in effect you need to remove the uh, whole motor unit from the um, uh, scope now one way of getting out um, is to cut the leads off uh, short and then try and solder them back together I didn't really want to do that um, Unfortunately, if you look at the length of the scope and imagine the motor which sits around here, there's a couple of leads, probably a little bit smaller than that actually, there's a couple of leads, one, one long lead that runs right up here somewhere and you can't get in there without removing the, the uh, lower voltage power supply board which sits around here. Um, as it was when I was trying to uh, extract it slightly, one of the wires broke off, luckily it was a wire that sits about there so um, I was able just to re-solder it but I was a little bit panicky because I couldn't see where it went. Um, another thing I did was uh, the, uh, is the camera in focus is I replaced uh, the A sweep triggered light, I noticed that wasn't working after I read the manual. Um, the original bulb is this one here and I managed to get some 12 volt 60 milliamp wire ended lamps which are sort of half the size, let me just see those tiny little things tiny little things and very carefully um, the lights here there's one of those born multi-turn pots here for this um, and the holder for it is rather like a cigarette filter sort of size and you have to pop the end off and carefully work your soldering iron without burning any other wires um, and try and solder uh, these tiny little bulbs in um, actually it was mm, took me about 10-15 minutes to do actually um, yeah so that's working okay now um, I've got a, a mixed square wave signal and a sine wave going into it uh, in a minute uh, for the moment you can see all sorts of funny patterns here I've got it in add mode and I'm finally, after, as I said, after having reading the manual getting the hang of it now there's just some, you know, it wasn't all the controls were not uh, unfamiliar, it was more the XY mode uh, there actually isn't a specific XY mode switch on here, like all my other scopes have got a specific XY mode switch this one hasn't, this one uses the uh, external horiz or external horizontal um, uh, position here and the input is into here took me uh, took me a while to figure that out actually but let's have a look at it so we're going to um, we've got the calibrator connected up I'm going to connect that to the input we're going to um, put it in external on tool we're going to this is where it's a bit of jiggery poker in now so let's turn my signal down a minute and let's see whether there you go it's in XY mode now so all I'm using is like the one kilohertz calibrator signal into the external trigger input um, external horizontal mode everything else is up and um, yeah just the all sorts
Actually, let's put it in ad mode at the moment. Oh, look at this. This is fun. What's this doing? That's in chop mode. That's in ad mode. That's channel one. That's quite interesting. Huh. Just altering the frequency of the uh, signal generator. That's fun. Right, so there we are basically, that's uh, that's it. Um, still need a case for it. Um, so if you know of anyone who's got a junk 453 laying, laying about with the uh, bail arm and the case, I'd be very pleased to hear from you. In the UK only, of course. <laughs> right, anyway, thanks for watching.